If we want to create a transparent digital negative, we must first learn how to scan photos properly. There are quite a few correct procedures, and in this video school, we will learn about a simple but effective method. We'll be using Max Image Capture Program, but don't worry, the settings in all other scanning programs are pretty similar. We place a photo of the developed grayscale table sample in the scanner. Before scanning, we adjust some settings. First, we select Color Scanning with 24-bit depth or Color in Millions. The scanning resolution of our samples is 300 dpi. If possible, we select the best scanning quality. If there is an option, we choose the sRGB or Adobe RGB color space. And most importantly, if there is a possibility, we turn off all automatic settings such as unsharp mask, color restoration, backlight correction, and so on. This step is quite important, as automatically correcting photos can significantly distort our color values. We click on the preview or overview button and select the photo scan area in the next step. This area is limited only to our sample. The size depends on the selected file. In our case, the sample size is 1507 by 1507 pixels. We scan the sample by clicking on the scan button. Our sample image is now ready to make transparent digital negative corrections. The file can be dragged into the Easy Digital Negatives program, which instantly calculates the appropriate corrections. If we want to improve the quality of scanned or photographed images, we can use so-called photographic color charts. These are used by professional photographers to correct exposure, white balance, and color values. But you can read more about this in the book Easy Digital Negative 2nd Edition. In the next video, we will present the use of spectrophotometers in the free Argyle CMS system. Goodbye until next time.